Well, hello, Christian. It's so nice to see you, even if virtually. (laughs) And I know for a lot of people, they had hoped to see you at Storyfort, which was supposed to be recently. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, and that's a big economic boon for the city and also for writers who who come. And we'll talk a little bit about how people can still continue to support those writers. But first off, how difficult was it for you logistically to have to reschedule everything? Did you have to, oh, I don't yeah. know, deal with airfares and all that kind of stuff? And you had we quite did. a lineup. We did. I have my now out of date poster here. So all these artists plus more and podcasts. So we had, you know, well over a hundred you know, artists just on the storyboard side, artists and panelists and all that kind of stuff. So many of them, yeah, coming from out of town. So. We can see um, some of them. So, we can um, see some of yeah. them here. I've got them up on the screen, and you can see how extensive the list was here that you'd put together. Absolutely. And and so all of their travel arrangements had to be yeah. changed. And We're fortunate too, yes. Um, with the story or three four team overall, the management um, they did a great job helping assist us because that can be pretty tedious, as you can imagine, trying to get refunds or credit. And we were pretty much able to get credit for our, you know, to use in September, you know, for most, all of our airfares. Uh, oh, that's so, great. That's great. Uh, so it is, we should say it's not canceled. Um, the plans are to have it uh, come back in, in September, which may actually be a pretty cool month to, to do it in. And uh, yeah, so, but uh, Storyfort's still going to have visibility. Um, are. You are doing a podcast. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, the podcast, it's uh, called Storyfort Presents, uh, Voices of Treefort Music Fest. And we launched it um, the first of the year. We started to, you know, record in the fall and then to the early winter um, and get some episodes all kind of queued up. And we started, we're strolling them out every Monday. Um, uh, Monday morning, we put them out there and we cover all I mean, as we haven't gotten to everything yet, but many, many aspects of uh, Treefort. So, we cover some of our artists, you know, some some authors, and uh, you know, some of our. So pins. you have one that you just did on Burning Man. It looks like we did, yeah. This guy Jerry James, who uh, lives here now, but he had he's actually the one who literally built the very first Burning Man. Um, and I've wow. actually been to Burning Man, so it's cool to get the, the inside scoop, um, just kind of the origin story of how that happened. So that podcast will continue. And um, I think pe- people might be interested to know that, you know, Rediscovered Books, the independent bookstore in Boise, had gone ahead, of course, and purchased uh, all these books of the authors that were to be coming in. So that's a lot of stock that they have. And of course, some of it will be uh, sold hopefully this September. But in the meantime, if people want to uh, purchase any of those books, Rediscovered is offering a 20% discount on the books of the authors that were to be at uh, tree for it, or story for it. Absolutely. There's Lydia Fitzpatrick's um, Lights All Night Long, and it's a fantastic novel. So they've got a bunch of the titles. Um, I pretty much all the ones we ordered in, I think they got. That's really yeah, cool. So Everybody had to scramble really quickly to to deal with this. I imagine just from a writer's perspective, just um, you being a writer, this time is uh, an interesting one for creativity and you know what, what do you think will come out of this whole period yeah. are you are you yourself doing some writing i'm yeah i'm working on like a, the cabin who's also one of our partners a literary you know nonprofit um here in boise um there's kind of commissioned a few of us or asked a few of us to write something for their website and so i've been composing a new story that, that's kind of angled into our current state of affairs without trying to make it too one to one, so it's been kind of a challenge not to like overplay the the drama of real mm-hmm. life um, on the page for uh, you know some fiction. But I'll just work it on my own stuff too as much as possible. I have you know a number of things. I've had more time, but also concentration is not. I mean, this focus conversation, or, you know, you know, focus concentration on the work itself has become a little bit difficult at times. So, if you had a word to describe this time and uh, an adjective, what would you throw out there? Yeah. Well, a cacophony of complications, we'll say that. A <laughs> cacophony of complications, okay. Yeah, this is a very, this is hard to know what to think, you know, about the world and about loved ones and friends and like just the Treeford family actually is communicating quite a lot too. And 
you know, there's some people directly affected by this um, mm -hmm. coronavirus that are on the team. So it's kind of like people are being really loving and, and very, you know, staying connected that way for Shreveport and so the Storyport's team too. So we're just trying to, I don't know, hang together, so. Right, well, I have full faith that writers, artists, other people in the humanities will um, take this time and be able to fashion out of it something that's really resonant for people. And I, I think this is gonna, uh, this is a very difficult time, but I also think it's going to be a revelatory time for the humanities and the arts to help us understand ourselves, to help us understand others, the world. And, um, you know. So I agree, reflect. yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what work comes out of it. I mean, we see a lot of sharing online, you know, just um, Valley Idaho, I know is putting out something this evening and also just all these writers, like mm -hmm. I said, sharing their work. Um, I think Elin Jules having a Facebook live yeah. concert. So there's lots of opportunities to, and I would say um, that if people watch those authors read or they watch a, a singer sing, think about supporting them as well because they're, they're out of work right now, like everyone else. Um, they, they can't do their readings. They um, you know, can't do their concerts. So it's important to support people. For sure, and yeah, just go to the treeforwardmusicfest.com site to keep, you know, abreast of all the, you know, the shows and the DJ sets and what we're doing and what other forts are doing. And there's also like a Tree Fort fan fund that helps, ah, okay. it goes into the fund and a lot helps a lot of the, our partners and a lot of the artists, you know, so you can go check, check that out and, you know, put in what you can. And it's something to keep, you know, all this fun, cool stuff, you know, artful stuff happening. Great. Well, Christian, thanks so much for talking with me. And this is going to be backwards in the Zoom, but cheers to you. It looks good on my side. <laughs> okay. No, it's backwards on my side. I'm still learning about all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, please. you take care and be safe and as well to your team. I appreciate it. Yeah. I look forward to working with you guys, you know, moving forward and keep some visibility, like you said, for our artists. All, all right. right. Thank, Thank you. you.